Hello guys, let's get to Microsoft Access projects. Today I'll be taking you through how to disable uh, a shift key. Uh, you notice that um, when you are launching Microsoft Access in a project, whether it is protected or not, when you hold a uh, shift key on the keyboard, it usually uh, goes to the uh, database uh, window that is the the design window it usually skips the startup options therefore it is a security breach and also it is a way uh, of hacking or getting access to tables therefore for example uh, i'm currently holding shift key when i open this database uh, like that uh, you see it is uh, fixed that uh, I should operate from this but you see when I hold shift key and open it will escape this one and go straight to tables and other objects so it is a security breach uh, since somebody may come and read the table data and also uh, edit some of the stuff so if I hold the shift key uh, where like that and then open the the table if I open I open let me open access then hold the shift you see what happens you see it it will actually escape the main form and go straight to database objects therefore I wish to show you how to disable shift key in your database uh, basically what you need to do is to create <coughs> you're supposed to create uh, two macros therefore I just go to this point yeah before I open I open access then I open my project that I want to protect if I want to protect this this program in that <coughs> uh, somebody will just see this and even if he or she uh, presses shift key, this one will be ignored. Therefore, basically, we start by creating two macros. Therefore, uh, we just, first of all, this, uh, enable the, we enable the, this, this, that is full menus. Then, can we open the database? We just open access. Then, after opening access, I can just go here therefore now i have full menus so i just go to create then i create one more therefore you go to create then you go to macros then we create a, a macro we create a macro code that is uh, we, we just uh, go to run run code then the action here the action is by that is by pass by pass key by pass key that is by pass key by pass key off off that is by pass key, uh, by bypass key off then this macro you save it as a bypass key off by pass of that is our first macro if we just go to run code function you put this therefore by pass key off then we also create another macro go to create then go to macro uh, this time round again run code then this is bypass uh, that is bypass key this, sorry this one should be bracket this is true we edit the other one the other one should be false this is by pass key by pass key on by pass key on that is for true therefore i just go back and edit the other macro this is for the this one design view therefore this one is by pass key bracket false so this one should be off is off it should be by pass key off for that one 
here should be false. Sorry for that, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. False. This one should be false. Therefore, that is how that one looks like. The other one should be true. Then from there, uh, you need to have a certain code. Uh, this code, I will import it from another database. Remember, I will share this database on my website. So you don't need to cram the... Uh, you don't need to memorize the code. You just need to import it, just like I will do. Therefore, I just go to external data. Then I go to this point here. Uh, that is access. Then from this dialog box, I just hit browse. I go to my desktop. Then I just import. I just click on OK. I import the module. Therefore, the module is module 1. Then I open the module for you to see. Therefore, you will still do the same. I will provide that one. Therefore, for the module, I just right click, go to design view. This is the module, therefore you don't need to cram all this code. This is a big code, you don't need to cram it. Therefore you just import it from the database I will provide on my website. Then after doing that, after doing that, ladies and gentlemen, after creating the two macros and also uh, importing this module, you just go now to the form you want to load. That is your dashboard. Or your switchboard or your main form mine is account details therefore i go to design view then you will, i'll draw a box you can even use a picture but i opt to use this rectangle therefore i just draw this rectangle here like that then i go to event procedure of this rectangle therefore i just go to properties then i go to event then on click here i choose bypass key on that macro bypass key on that way then i save my work then after doing that uh, after doing that one i am supposed to uh, that is to uh, i'm supposed to run this macro here i'm supposed to run this macro and then cross the form therefore once i do that it should really uh, work it should really work uh, after I do that therefore I just go to this macro I run this bypass key off that way therefore, you can also right click and run then after doing that after doing that when now I cross my database and run it again it should not bypass it should not bypass therefore let's give a try Let's give a try. There we are. You see now, uh, initially, when I was opening the, the the database, it was it was actually escaping this and bringing this only. Therefore, I can go ahead and hide this. If I just go to options, then current database, I remove the navigation pane. This one is called navigation pane. Display navigation then I have removed the tick, so it should not be displayed. And therefore, let's try and see when I hold shift, whether my database works. Therefore, you see, my database is working perfectly. It is not escaping or skipping the startup options, these ones. And it is advisable you put this rectangle or this uh, object uh, on the login screen so that it, uh, it will uh, avoid or it will make sure that the hacker or the person who want to bypass the, the startup screen or options uh, is put off. And therefore guys, you can get the copy of that module below the description. Also, you can download a copy of this database to import the module from my website. Also, the URL of my website is just below this video. guys. Remember to subscribe for me if you haven't done that for me. Also, uh, share these videos with your friends. Thank you very much.